Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord. And, and David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You know, it truly is a place that where fellow believers can come, should be able to come, and be lifted up, be exhorted by the Word of God should be a place where the Word of God is brought forth. Praise God. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, says. Praise God. There's love and there's peace and there's joy. And there's joy in serving God. Hallelujah. There's joy where the Spirit of the Lord is. The Bible says that they had joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Because being led by the Spirit, all through the book of Acts, you'll find where the Holy Spirit said, do this, or the Holy Spirit said, do this, or, or not do this. Go here. The Holy Spirit, go here, go there. You'll find where it said, it seemed good to us. Then other places, it seemed good to the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the Holy Ghost is our helper and our guide. Praise the Lord. He's a comforter. Comforter. We have a comforter. Jesus said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Power to be witnesses. Power to be my witness, he said. In Jerusalem. Judea, Samaria, and all the parts of the world. Other parts of the world. Witnesses for Christ. Witnesses of what he did. Witnesses of the things that he's done in our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a wonderful Savior. And if you will purpose in your heart to be led by the Holy Spirit then he will lead you into all truth and he will testify of Jesus the, Bi the Bible says and he will comfort you because he's the comforter he's the comforter praise God he comforts us <clears throat> and the Bible calls him the spirit of truth the spirit of truth and like my husband's preached he's all about truth and he's all about testifying of Jesus and he's the one that teaches us the word gives us revelation that's a revealing that's a manifesting that's an uncloaking of things which are mysteries and hidden. And it, even the Bible says that when we pray in our heavenly language, that we're praying mysteries. We're praying out mysteries, praise God. That's the reason it's so important to pray in your heavenly language. Because you know what? You don't know the will for somebody's life. But God does. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit knows the will for every person's life. And when you pray for someone, pray in the Spirit. Because then you're praying out the will of God for that person. God, hallelujah. You're praying out God's will for that person. And a lot of times, and we grew up believing and in church and believing that you just pray and just pray what you think that, you know, that person needs. Oh, God, bless them or, you know, Lord, prosper them or, 
you know, most of the time it was God bless them. Well, how? How do you want God to bless them? Because, see, you don't really know how they, how they should be blessed. Yeah, they might, you might, it might look like that they need a financial blessing. When truly, they need a spiritual blessing. They need to get closer to God and the finances will come. They need to start having some faith so that they can be healed or something. See, we don't know, but the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit knows the mind of God, and He knows the will of God for us. And without the Holy Spirit, you can't be an effective witness of Jesus, of God, His purpose, His plan. 